Yeah, guys, so I'm just going to do a Samurai Jack reaction review for all the episodes because it's only 10 episodes, and I love Samurai Jack. It's one of my favorite cartoons of all time, so I just figured I would do a reaction review. And since a lot of you guys said you liked it before, I figured I would just get right to it. So this episode today was just, oh my god. God, okay, like, I cannot explain the tone shift. The tone shift went from comedic to kind of dark and then, you know, sad. And then it was back to being dark, violent, and it was just so many shifts throughout the entire episode. I mean, God, wow, but my God. Okay, so Aku comes up, and it's the same dude who voices Iroh and Legend of Korra and the book three of Legend of um, book three of Avatar Last Airbender. Before you guys start saying oh, look, Mako's dead, I know. I've been known Mako's dead. I was sad. I actually made a thing for that back in 2000. Uh, what was it? God, I, I don't remember. But I made a thing for that back in my class because me and my friend actually talked about this back in high school. But uh, the dude doing his voice, you know, he's decent. He's not bad. Like, he's not great. He sounded sort of Italian when he was doing uh, Aku's voice. And it was just interesting but it wasn't anything like i was completely blown away by like wow that's mako but who can be mako and i'm not gonna hate on the dude whatsoever because you know mako was just uh one of the lifetime voice he has one of those very unique voices that you just can't mimic fully and i just i thought the guy did a phenomenal job for what he was given and so he's like talking about how he basically effed up all the time portals and how I destroyed all the time portals. I, I can't do an Haku voice, but he's saying, I destroyed all these time portals and I thought, you know, he would just die, you know, at age. And apparently the time portals have had an effect on Samurai Jack's age. So like, since he didn't go back in time or since all the time portals are destroyed, he's just in an eternal state of like not aging. So he has practically eternal youth. He can still be killed, but he has eternal youth for right now. And so Haku's just making all these bug bots and sending them them to you know go attack jack and you know jack does the typical thing where he just goes i ain't playing that shit cuts it up destroys all the bots effortlessly and then some shit happens he meets the daughters of aku the daughters are aku oh my god all right you see all those years of training pay off all those years of training pay off like first off they're coming out and like ninjas like he's like what the fuck is going bam, bam. he's like what the He's like, what the hell's going on? Like, he's just thinking, oh my god, Aku sent another robot to me. I just killed the beetle thing, and now I'm just fighting all these girls. And I'm just, what the, what the, what the, what the? He's just getting his ass handed to him. He's like, what the fuck is going on? So he gets his machine gun out. He starts blasting them, doing it. It has no effect. These girls are just so fast, so effective. Nothing is messing with them. It is so cool to see like Jack just trying to fight all these girls at once because these girls are just coming at him like freaking ninjas it's like they're just darting at him backing off darting at him backing off and going away and it is so just entertaining to watch Jack I'm no I love you Jack but it's just so entertaining to see your ass get whooped and so he starts going oh god I can't I, I, I can't beat these girls whatever like he still thinks they're robots like that's a key thing in this episode that I'm going to get to later he still thinks that they're robots so he starts running away and he starts running and he's just like he hides in a little uh, beetle shell of a robot that uh, one, one of the previous ones of Aku's boss that he destroyed. And he's just sitting there thinking to himself like, okay, how the fuck am I going to get out of here? How am I going to get out of here? This is ridiculous. Oh my God, this is, I can't do this. And so he starts having a vision of his past self, the Samurai Jack we all love and know from the 2001, 2004 series. He's telling him, how much longer can you keep this up? This is ridiculous, okay? Our family is waiting for us and you left him, you know? You could always, and this is where it gets extraordinarily dark. Samurai Jack has just been 50 years, just violence, death, pain, just going through that nonstop. It really has a mental effect on your psyche. And we saw in the last episode that he had PTSD. And in this episode, he's just like, I cannot deal with this anymore. So his past self from saying, you know, could just end it, man be pretty easy just find a way just to end it and he's like contemplating suicide or like take that into account our hero the stoic badass kind dude we've grown to love is now contemplating suicide and it's really sad it's just it was a, one of those scenes where i was just like no jack i understand all this stuff is just hell but don't do that to yourself and so jack is just saying i'm not going to do that I, I i can always find a way they're just nuts and bolts they're just robots so he still thinks the daughters are cool are robots he doesn't think they're organic and so he starts just going okay um i need to find a get away way way to get away from these guys and girls whatever and so he's looking and he's like 
okay, you know what? I see the area right there. I think I can make it. And then his pass up was like, dude, you're going to get your freaking ass wrecked, okay? If you go out there, man, you're going to get fucked up. So I'm saying, do not go. Do not go. And so Jack is just like, no, I'm going. And he so, he, so he times himself. He gets all quiet. He waits. And he just sprints. And he goes all in slow motion. So you feel like you are running. It feels like you're running for your life as well. And so he starts running. And all of a sudden he sees behind him. Fucking daughters are all cool. They're just right behind his ass. And he's just like, oh my God. And these girls, they're all like running in unison. They're all like going at him like this. You know, they're doing all doing that win. You know that run where you karate chop the air? Like that's what it's pretty much. They're all doing that. And he's just like, oh God, I gotta run, I gotta run, I gotta run. And he's like sprinting as fast as he can. He's sprinting like he's got freaking football and he's going for the touchdown. And these girls are just right behind him on his ass. And he runs into this temple. And this temple is where the highlight of the episode just starts taking place. Like you, these girls are pretty much like six female predators or seven female predators because they, the way they stalk him, it reminded me of like, I know it's a, it's, well, it's, a decent, it's not a crappy movie, it's a decent movie. It reminded me of Alien vs. Predator, where the Predators are in the temple and they're hunting the people. Because, like, all the atmosphere is dark. The atmosphere is just completely dark. And Jack is looking around, and he's just like, I don't know what to do. Uh, I gotta find it. I need to find a way to get out of here. And the girls, it's, like, really creepy because they're emotionless faces. They've just got these emotionless... It's sort of like six female Michael Myers with ninja skills hunting you. And they're just looking for him, looking for him, and then they find him, and there are these little glow bugs going around, like, illuminating the free, and it's just creepy. And it, like, so Jack is just hiding in the darkness, but then they appear, they start fighting him, and he's just like, oh god, I gotta fight these robots, because he still thinks they're robots, and so he starts fighting them and fighting them, and he runs away, and he escapes. He, like, realizes, oh, if I try to fight these girls, I'm gonna get my ass handed to me. So he starts running and fighting and fighting, and so he starts to get away from them. He tries his best to get away from them. And he is, like, just, ah, damn near, it is scary. You feel on the edge of your seat watching this episode. You feel just this, like, secluded nature. Like, you cannot, I'm sorry, I keep saying, oh, my God, it is insane. You feel, like, trapped with Jack. You feel trapped and isolated. And he is just trying his best to get out of there. But these girls just will not stop coming. And so he eventually decides he's going to hide in this tomb because they go into this area where all these tombs are and there's a guy in a skeleton case and he's sitting there and there's all these glow bugs up top and uh i really have to remember was that something from the original series because i haven't watched the original series all the way through since 2013 but i've been re-watching it uh recently just because this my boy's back and so he hides in this little thing and this a uh, little glow bug and they, the music i'm gonna say this the music the atmosphere is just beautiful here like the tension the music is beautiful the scenery is beautiful the art gendy you are a genius my friend you are an absolute genius and so he is just hiding hiding and then all of a sudden all the girls find where he is because his glow bug is hiding on his spot and they're illuminating where he is and so they all just come up and he's like and then they all just attack him and he jumps out and then he starts running and running and running and he starts trying to get away from all these girls and he cannot make it away. And so he eventually does make it away because he, um, he just, he, what he does is he just, um, he swims through this area, he gets through the darkness, he's able to get away from them, he thinks that they're all free, but then one of the daughters, Raku, like, comes up and attacks him, and actually stabs him, and he's bleeding, and so it's one of the rare times we see, like, blood in Samurai Jack, and all while this is going on, there's this little, uh, I don't know how to word it, a uh, little other subplot, well, it's like, not a little mini story of this, uh, wolf this white wolf fighting these three green tigers and it's it's like mirroring what's going on with jack like this white wolf is just trying to get through an area and he has to fight these three tigers and uh jack is fighting all these girls and he's trying to get through this area and so jack basically comes face to face with this girl and he's trying to fight her he's trying to fight her. he's trying his best he's like blocking he's doing all this jazz but then all of a sudden he's just like i can't Take this, so he gets his, he, he, he basically just does what he does to defend himself, because he thinks it's a robot, so he's able to get the sword away from her, <laughs> slits the girl's throat, and he sees blood come out, and he's like, oh shit, 
I just can't. And th this is the part where I was like, oh my God, he just slit this girl's throat. And it's kind of weird because you saw this girl, even though it was just mini, you saw like them, you saw her born in the first episode, you saw her train in the first episode, you saw them all go through these tasks together. So it was just kind of really morbid. Like, it's funny that the whole thing started with Aku being funny and laughing and then just tone shifted the entire way to this. And so Jack is like, oh God, I... I just killed someone, the girls are coming, they're obviously gonna be, you know, evil, and Jack's just contemplating, I just murdered someone. And so he uses the weapon he got from the scat robot in the last episode, and he starts tapping the stones. Tapping the stones, tapping the stones, tapping the stones, and then, like, with one that you remember in the first episode, when he taps the stones, the stones vibrate, and then they blow up. And so he does that, and does that, and does that, and then all of a sudden, they just blow up, and the whole thing blows up, and the, I guess the girl's carcass blows up with him, and so Jack is bleeding, he falls into the lake below, and you see his body just going, all bleeding going through the stream and then you, it pans back to the wolf versus the tigers and it shows that the wolf was able to defeat all the tigers but it was not in vain and it's just lying there like we don't know if it's dead or not but it's just lying there all bloodied up and it was just an intense episode oh my god i i was i so i love this season so far i cannot say I like I, if i had to give this uh rating out of i'm gonna say five yeah, five. I would give it a four out of four point five out of five because it was just phenomenal. It was great. I was excited. I cannot believe that it's just so weird that a show I grew up with, well, all of us grew up with, basically. Well, most of us, a show that we all love. You wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't love it. Or if you did, are then thank you for watching. But it's just so insane to me that this show, like, is become this. Like, because I, I remember I used to make a joke all the time, like, of course he's fighting robots. They couldn't show him actually cut real people because that would be too violent. And now it's like, 15 years later, I can say to my little self, hey, you fat bastard, look what they're doing now. You see that? You see that? They're freaking bloody up place. It was insane. Oh, my God. I cannot wait. I am just, I love that this series has come back. It's come back so strong. Powerpuff Girls, why did you have to mess up your reboot? Oh my god, imagine if Powerpuff Girls came back so gritty and rebooted like this. It would be so freaking cool. Uh, but I just had to say that. I had to do my thoughts on the video. I thought it was incredible. I'm so happy Jack is back. Aku's voice could do a little bit of work. And uh, the fight scenes and the whole thing with him contemplating suicide. Just wow, I did not expect to get that deep today. But anyways, guys, that was my video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it. And remember, like I always say, keep calm. Booyah on. Don't forget. Momentai. Jack, I hope you can make it through this without having to slay some more blood. But I love it, man. Keep up the great work, Gendy. Like, this is phenomenal. Also, be sure to check out my bro, Quan Man's Land. Me and him are like... Also, be sure to check out my bro, Quan Man's Land review because he watched it as well. And me and him are like brothers on this stuff. Like, we love this stuff ever since we were little kids. So be sure to check this stuff out and we geek out over it together. So check it out.